I'm Mark Miller. And I'm Maxwell. Welcome to Seriously Serial. Thanks to our patrons, we now post two new episodes every weekend. And you can find out more about Seriously Serial and watch all the current episodes at our website. If you like to eat your cereal dry, then you are a snacker like Bowler. Or do you prefer with milk? Then you're a spooner like Spoonie. Today's cereal is... Lower Sugar Maple and Brown Sugar Oatmeal. Okay, Mark, welcome back to Series Zero. It has been Thank a you. long time. Have you not been on the show since the Unicorn Cereal? I don't think so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we need to have you on the show more often. This cannot stand. Okay. Uh, but uh, obviously, since it is still winter time, we're doing hot cereals. And obviously, because they're hot cereals, we're not having anybody be the, snack, be the snacker. Because, I mean, why would you eat oatmeal dry? One, it's bad for you. And two, it's weird. Unless it's in cookies. Right. Only in cookies do you eat oatmeal without milk. Exactly. And even that has, like, it, like uh, eggs and, like, milk and water and all that just added into, like, the batter. So... Yeah, but long story short, as Mike Shirt says, we are all spooners in wintertime. So, yeah. <laughs> I love how those shirts came out, by the way. Like, seriously. But, uh, <clears throat> so, today's hot cereal is, like I said in the intro, it is ma- low sugar, maple brown sugar oatmeal. <laughs> it's kind of, uh, kind of a, what's the word, an oxymoron there? <laughs> like a self contradictory statement. <laughs> low sugar, maple and brown sugar. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, it looks about, it, just appearance-wise, I'd say it looks about the same, would you say? I seem to th- remember something about monk food. Yes, yes, yeah. Last episode with Sherry, we found out that the reason these are considered low sugar is actually not because they're sweetened with, like, artificial, like, no-calorie sweetener. There is still sugar in this, but most of the sweetness is derived from something called monk fruit. M-O-N-K fruit. I'm going to go off on a tangent now with a conspiracy theory. Go ahead ahead. I don't think monk fruit exists. It sounds too much like monkey. Like maybe Uh, there's little hidden monkey parts in here. (laughs) Which is another reason why, you know, people like me don't eat much, you know, hot cereal. What What is that like... What's that thing, like, all drinking aside, isn't there, like, a thing where, like, something, like, for extra protein, there's, like, like, meat or something, like, like, I don't know, like, vitamins or whatever, I know that's not the word, but, like, put into certain things. Well, they're, so, like, yeah, they're, 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 they put additives and stuff in yeah. there for flavor, or, like you said, for, oh, for nutrition, things like yeah, that. Yeah, I always but, found that so weird. But I've never, this is the first time I've ever heard of monk Fruit. Yeah. And I have a strange feeling that it's probably that's a name made up by some advertising guru. Yes. Who's trying to come up with an unusual name. Would you say an advertising monk? Yes, uh. an advertising <laughs> monk. That's true. Sorry, that was... A monk could also be a monk in a monastery. Ooh. So maybe they're growing these weird fruits up in these monasteries yeah. in Upper wherever. You know, and that's where they got Upper the Monksville. Monk. Yeah. <laughs> Monastery is where the monks and the monkeys roam free. Or someplace like that, <laughs> you know. Monksville, location, center of the earth. <laughs> I mean, where else do you think magical lands are? <laughs> I'm gonna touch the box now. Go right ahead. If you, and by the way, if you ever actually look up a picture of monk fruit, they are weird. They right? they look like like all joking aside, they look like a kiwi with the insides of a pumpkin. That's why I think. Ooh. That's why I think they're something yeah. faked it. You know, yeah, but like, no photographer can make that look good. So I'm looking at all this. I always like the fact, okay, where's where's the monk fruit? Where's the monk fruit in the photo? Yeah. They got strawberries and blueberries. Yeah. Where's the monk fruit? Yeah. That's false you know, advertising. Kind of interesting, but it's... That's false advertising. <laughs> you know, it doesn't even actually, like, look too much like any of the oatmeals in the box. It's like they have, it's like... They have blueberries and strawberries, but there's no, like, cinnamon. There's no, like, apple. There's no apple bits like it is in the actual apple cinnamon. I oh, know. There's a maple leaf. <laughs> but it has monk fruit. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, I'm going to say that 
judging from last episode, this will probably be good, I'd say. Maybe a little weird aftertaste from the monk fruit, but <laughs> at the same time, I mean, I'm pretty optimistic. It looks like the typical dried oatmeal cereal yeah. that my mother and grandmother used to, used to use to make oatmeal cookies. Yeah. Now, I love oatmeal cookies. Yeah, homemade That's oatmeal how cookies. That's how, I eat. That's how I eat my oatmeal. Yeah. <laughs> So, should we give these a try? I'm kind of curious. Yep. All right, let's see how prominent the monk fruit is this time around. <laughs> well, Max, yeah. what do you think? Well, I don't know if it really tastes like maple brown sugar. Like with the apples and cinnamon one, you can taste the cinnamon and you can taste the apples. Here though, I'm just kind of tasting the, the monk fruit. <laughs> the monk fruit. <laughs> it strikes again. Give me a second now. I expect to see somebody coming in with a one of those cowl things on that monks wear, or a monkey <laughs> went by. But anyways, the monk fruit strikes again. This is my time for my disclaimer. Okay. I am not a big hot cereal fan. Okay, Because yeah. when I was growing up, I had a very loving set of grandparents. Okay. I loved my grandmother and my granddad. Who doesn't? Yes. But my grandfather was kind of set in his ways. Oh, so there were certain okay. things he always ate. Ah. He always loved to have pork chops. He always loved to have um, eggs made a certain way. He wanted his toast made a certain way, stuff yeah. like that. One thing he always did in the morning, though, was he'd take this nice big bowl of hot cereal. Oh. Then he would dump milk or cream all over it. Oh. When I was a kid, I thought it looked like something a cat had thrown out. <laughs> So I could never get that out of my mind. Plus, uh, the idea of dumping cold milk on oh, a hot cereal was yeah. kind of like it was counterintuitive. Yeah. So, but that's the way they ate it back then, I guess. Was yeah. I could see maybe if they warmed the milk. Yeah, up, sure. But they didn't do that. They would just dump cold milk on hot cereal, and then he would mush it all up, sure. and it looked like okay, yeah. put it very well. Like cat vomit. Yeah, so something I, not very appetizing, I no. think we can all agree. So I never got into hot cereal because of that. Cream of wheat, yeah. forget it. Not even, I can't even go next to cream of wheat. But Cream of rice is better in my eyes. Yeah. Surprisingly, having tasted this, this is actually fairly flavorful for oh. a hot cereal. It actually, and, and before we started eating it, it had a very nice aroma. It had, uh, it definitely, you could smell the brown sugar and some other nice little... Uh, 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 sense in it and stuff like that. So if you were definitely wanting just to get a nice, you know, put something on a table that really smelled good, right after you put the hot uh, water on this, you get a nice aroma feeling. Oh, yeah. And surprisingly, it doesn't look too bad with hot water. Yeah. And it actually doesn't taste too bad either. Mm. I will say, the while I was eating this while you were talking, I did begin to get more of the maple flavor. And I just slopped down my front. <laughs> like I do. Because I'm a slob. Oh my gosh. We're all slobs. I'm a slob. Well, quick editor, cut that out. <laughs> uh, but, but I did start to get some of the maple flavor, I'd say. But the point still stands that the mug fruit is way more prominent. Hmm. Like with the app again with the apple one, the apple still took center stage. Here, yeah. I think the the sweetener definitely does I, I, overwhelm I, the original. I don't flavor. have any idea what a monk fruit tastes like. All I know is it, it this does taste fairly flavorful, and for somebody who doesn't like hot cereal, you know, I I would I would not turn my nose up at this if I was okay. hungry. But I would definitely would say you have to put hot water on it oh, and yeah. make it hot cereal. Yes. Putting milk on the hot cereal defeats the whole purpose. Yeah. Yeah, at least warm milk. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, at least warm milk. It's supposed to, hot cereal is supposed to keep you warm in the wintertime, not be a weird mess. Exactly. <laughs> 
but I have to admit, I'm a pancake person. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pancakes and waffles. Good there stuff. we go. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, I didn't hate it, but I think I am going to give it a 2 out of 5 spoons, a little below average for me. I think just in this case, because of the sweetener they use, it, it overpowers the maple flavor a little more than the mm. apples did. Like, the apple flavor is still prominent in the other one. Here, while you can eventually taste the maple, what you're going to be tasting mostly is the artificial sweetener the artificial sweetener or the mug fruit as we now know which in my eyes tastes like artificial sweetener so so the monk fruit is that artificial sweetener exactly yeah. taste yeah. it seems to be yeah okay. so i would i would say i would i would say again if you don't mind that flavor i would say you could give us a try but at the same time it just the fact that there's less of the flavor it advertises is a little bit of a is a little meh for me. That's just me, though. Well, going against my deep set problem with hot cereal, I will actually say this has actually tasted pretty good. I would actually give it a three. Okay. What the caveat? Gotta be hot water. Yes. And it does have a little bit of that. Artificial sweetener aftertaste. Yeah. So you actually might want to add a little bit of extra water to it to maybe uh, water it down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To try to get the but it does taste nice and sweet, and I can <laughs> taste the brown sugar in it. The apples, whatever else it is, forget it. There's no apples in that thing. It's it's kind of like this brown sugar. Could you sugar. taste like uh, the maple? Because it's like maple brown sugar. Well, that's kind of what it is. It's kind of like that maple yeah. combination, maple brown yeah. sugar flavor. They go together well, like. honestly. Yeah. So that's what I can taste. Anything else, you can't really taste. So it's flavorful. So for young kids who like sweet stuff anyways, it would be an easy sell. Okay. You don't want to dump a bunch of extra brown sugar on this yes because then yeah. it's going to make your head explode <laughs> yeah. it's already sweetened because i'm like i said i'm an old guy so i remember growing up with the big huge oatmeal oats thing quaker oats round thing well i was a boy <laughs> when i was a boy and that's what you got oatmeal with. and of course you had when you cook it up you had to add something to it yeah. you had to have brown sugar to it or like my grandfather used to do, ruin it with milk. Or <laughs> cream. But that's what Cold that milk. What, what is that? Why do you do that? I, I, it's like, it's, that's just like pouring cold water. It's just like... Ugh. Something else they used to do way back before they started actually having cold cereal. Yep. And they, sometimes you'll see this in some of these old movies that are trying oh. to be historically correct. Yeah. They would break up bread, put it okay. in a bowl, pour milk on it, and give it to the kids. Ugh. So I'm sitting here going, cold milk on bread in the morning... To me, is about as appetizing as, like I said, as 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 cold rolled oats or something with milk all over yeah, it, mixed it all up. It just doesn't look appetizing at all. But they used to feed their kids that. And I wonder what made me like, yeah, I'm better in the morning. I just be like, where's the bacon? Yeah, I know. <laughs> where's the lucky jar? Where's the cat? Completely <laughs> off the subject, but about breakfast foods. Do you know where a lot of our modern pies apparently got started? No, oh, where? In England, apparently, they used to make fruit pies as a form of breakfast for everybody because it was easy to warm up and, and make, and you got your fruit. And then they sometimes oh. it would be meat pies. They could throw some meat oh, on there. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so they'd mix it all together, and then they could give that to the kids and everybody early in the day because it was easy to yeah. warm up. Which, that's how one reason why we got all this pie crust and all this other stuff. Oh, yeah. They were trying to make a combination food that was easily prepared you know, like in the morning, and everybody was trying to get up and freeze their butt off because we had no electric heat. <laughs> That's actually very cool. Yeah. So I'd say, in conclusion, I'd say, I'd say this is, I'd say this is worth a try, but proceed with caution. The apple flavor, the apple f variation of this is definitely, I'd say, a reasonable substitute. This one, I'd say, you might like it, you might not. Yeah, you're. If you really like kind of a little bit overpowering sweetness, you'd like this. I would be tempted to see what it would be like if you made oatmeal cookies out of it. 
Oh, actually, without yeah. adding any extra yeah. sugar. I wonder how that would taste. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Like maple brown sugar, like oatmeal, lends itself very well to most cookies. Exactly. Yeah, that would be interesting. But no cold milk. Yes. None. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't get that. <laughs> that was fair. That, that's very strange. I don't know that at all. Have you tried this cereal? If you have, let us know. And find out more about CSC Cereal at our website. Thanks for watching.